summer's heating up our plants are getting a lot of flowers on them they're starting to set some fruit and so I thought I'd take a minute to uh, do a video here on how to save seeds and ensure that your plants do not cross pollinate now this is good for just about any variety of seeds we grow peppers tomatoes beans and a few other things but uh, these types of plants can cross pollinate peppers and tomatoes do have what's known as a perfect flower they can self pollinate they don't need another flower you know they don't need insects to pollinate them they will pollinate themselves but they can cross pollinate if a bee or other insect were to fly from flower to flower from plant to plant so if you're growing plants in close proximity then you need to isolate some flowers to ensure that you get a true variety growing the following year okay so that said how do we isolate our seeds now you could of course take netting and put them over the entire plants uh, we're a small scale so the best way that we found to do that uh, isolate the seeds is through the use of these organza bags here now these are typically used for like wedding favors and things like that but they work great for separating some flowers and uh, isolating seeds for the following year now you can see I do have some already on our plants back here so I will walk you through and show you just how I do this but you can put as many of these on a plant as you want you can get larger ones that you could do an entire branch uh, I've even seen people use those paint strainer bags that are like for a five gallon bucket paint strainer and so let me take you through and show you how you do this okay so if you want to save the seeds from a plant and you want to isolate some flowers it's important that you catch the the flowers before they open so you can see here these flowers have not opened they're still all cupped shut uh, have not released any pollen yet so this here is an ideal branch to isolate with uh, an organza bag okay so the first thing you're going to want to do these organza bags are fairly small and so uh, what I typically do is I strip away the larger leaves. They're unnecessary. The plant will grow new larger leaves from these smaller ones here. I have not removed anything like that. And so as you can see now, this is going to fit much easier into the organza bag. Then you can simply take the organza bag, slip it over the flower right down to the stem, and then just pull it cinch it tight on there like that I would make sure that the bag is fluffed up a little bit and then you're set okay so once you have the organza bags on now it's just kind of a waiting game you're just gonna wait until you'll see those flowers eventually they'll open and it will pollinate and then after that point the flower will wither away and die once the flower withers away and dies uh, you're all set you can take the organza bag off and the, the flowers the pods that you isolated you can tag those so you will remember that those are your isolated ones but you don't have to worry at that point about any cross pollination taking place now let me show you how to tag the plants this is the method that i use it's really simple this little pepper here this was isolated i had a little organza bag over it and as you can see there's a fruit growing now and so this is safe of course to remove the organza bag and i'm going to tag this pepper so i remember to save seeds from this pod now the best way that I found to do that is I just use a little piece of a straw. I take a cut, a little section off, and put a slit in it, and then I can just simply take it and wrap it right around the stem of that flower, and that will be a visual reminder to me that when I go to harvest seeds and when I'm picking peppers that I remember that this is a pepper that I need to save seeds from. Very important okay so that's it really nice and easy right get yourself some organza bags maybe a nice bright colored straw so you can tag your plants with you can use bread ties or whatever you want i like the straws simple easy cheap and it's brightly colored you certainly don't want to use anything green or that's going to blend in uh, you're going to be reaching into some bushy plants and picking peppers and you want something that's going to catch your attention uh, you don't want something that's going to fall off easy obviously and that's it and then next year you'll have a nice true variety of pepper or tomato or whatever vegetable you're saving the seeds from because if it you don't do this you do risk cross-pollination especially plants that are grown in close proximity for sure if you're selling seeds you want to do this people are paying for a certain variety and that's what they want they don't want some mutant or cross-breeded plant later in the year as I'm cutting these open and saving the seeds I'll do a video on that on how to dry and save the seeds but 
that's a video for another time. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're wondering where to get these organza bags, I'll put a link to the uh, product in the description of this video. I got these on Amazon. You get a whole bunch. You can put them all over your garden on pepper plants, tomato plants. I'll take you a walk around and kind of show you real quick how I have mine isolated. I put several on same plant sometimes. You can reuse these the following year. I would recommend washing them out or if you use them for peppers one year, use them for tomatoes the next year because that pollen can live for a long time inside of these. So wash them out good or like I said, use them for a different type of plant where you don't have to worry about the cross pollination. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button follow and share uh, this video if you like, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy gardening.